these days, everyone is trying to do their part to be more energy efficient and to reduce their carbon footprint. That's important because future generations will depend on our environmental stewardship. Most people like discovering new ways to save money, too. Let's spend a minute talking about one of the best ways there is to accomplish all of these goals by using natural gas in your home. Here are two big things you need to know about natural gas. One. Generating electricity with natural gas produces half as much carbon as other energy sources. It's cleaner. And two, natural gas is 92% efficient when you consider something called the full fuel cycle. What is the full fuel cycle, you ask? Well, it's easy to understand when you look at the journey energy takes from where it is produced to your home. When you turn on an electric appliance in your home, the electricity to make it work comes from a power plant. The power plant turns fuel into electricity, and the fuel needs to come from somewhere. In most cases, a drilling site or a mine. Along the way, a lot of the energy in the original fuel can be lost during the full fuel cycle as it goes through each stage of production and conversion and eventually reaches you. That's where this idea of energy efficiency comes in. The more steps there are in the journey energy takes to get to your home, the less energy efficient its full fuel cycle is. The fact is, due to there being too many of these steps along the journey, the electricity that arrives in most of the homes in the United States is only about 40% efficient. So, how can natural gas be utilized to be approximately 92% efficient? Simple. Reduce the number of energy wasting steps in the cycle. This is called direct use. Here's how it works. For homes that use natural gas to power appliances, like a water heater and a furnace, that energy arrives directly to your appliances after a journey through pipelines that does little to reduce its energy efficiency. Now what can you do to use more of this efficient fuel source? For one, you can look to see if you can replace any of your current appliances with appliances that can run on natural gas. The most common natural gas appliances are stoves and ovens, furnaces, water heaters, grills, and dryers. For example, Let's talk about the furnace that heats your home. If you have an older furnace, it may be possible to reduce the energy used to heat your home by 49% if you replace it with a more efficient natural gas furnace. The direct use of natural gas can also save you money. For example, consumers who use natural gas for heating, water heating, cooking, and clothes drying spend an average of $654 less annually than consumers using electricity for those appliances. And, because we now have enough natural gas in the United States to last for more than 100 years and more than 2.4 million miles of pipelines that carry the gas safely and reliably from where it is produced to homes and businesses, new opportunities to use it are also available. Natural gas can power your car, air conditioning, and, through innovative technologies like small-scale electric generation, can even power entire homes and neighborhoods that are directly connected to a natural gas utility line through a small appliance. Very cool. When you add up the whole journey, natural gas is a clean, more efficient, and affordable American energy. Want to learn more about the many opportunities to expand natural gas use in your home? go to www.fuelingthefuture.org.